tonight as the crowd chanting NXT. We're going to find out who will be the general manager, the boss of the black and gold brand. Who will it be? We'll find out right now. Oh my! Who else? But the Nature Boy! 16 time heavyweight champion of the world! And Ric Flair! The limousine riding, Jeff flying, kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, son of a gun! The only first ever two time WWE Hall of Famer. The Nature Boy is the general manager. Last season we had the Hitman, Bret Hart, being the general manager. This time, Ric Flair is the one that's in charge, who's calling all the shots regarding N. XT. The, legend, the legendary strut, the woo, the whole shebang. Ninja Boys in the house. It's great to be back. Wow. Not a developmental brand, not even a third brand. So what exactly is NXT? <laughs> the brand. It's hard to argue that. NXT is pro wrestling like Ric Flair. Flair claims that Raw and SmackDown are sports entertainment. Well, NXT is pro wrestling. A new NXT title. I guess we're getting a new design of the NXT Championship belt. An NXT TakeOver event in Phoenix, Arizona two weeks after TLC. That means it'll be the first major event in 2020. We've got a new world champion at TakeOver. Women's and tag team officials will be made in the future. Flair well, says tonight, it's all about baby steps. And we start with our introduction. What a way to kick off. NXT couldn't do it any bigger, any better than with the Rick Flair, the Nature Boy. And also later on tonight, Io Shirai will make her NXT in-ring debut. The genius of the sky will be in action later on tonight on NXT. Oh my! Holy! That's Rusev! Rusev was a part of SmackDown! I guess Ric Flair was able to get some, some talent from Raw and SmackDown to jump ship over to the Black and Gold brand. Here comes a man that once held the United States title, the Intercontinental title, here in Universe Mode. Look at the celebrate Rusev Day here tonight. A man like Rusev, a dangerous individual. Rusev, obviously here to make himself a better version of himself. Be kidding me! It's Keith Lee! 
the Limitless, Keith Lee, live in NXT. Oh my God. As tonight, we're basking in his glory in the Bucky Gold brand. How the hell Ric Flair was able to obtain the one and only Keith Lee in the independent scene's hottest free agent able to come over. Keith Lee from Wichita Falls, Texas who debuted in 2005 in pro wrestling. As the crowd is already acknowledging who Keith Lee is. Keith Lee wrestled all around the world. He able to win championship after championship. As this matchup begins, Rusev versus Keith Lee to kick off third season of NXT. As Keith Lee with a belly belly overhead. Right off the bat, Keith Lee goes by the nicknames of Blackzilla, Limitless, Friendly Fellow. As Keith Lee now oh, able to take down Rusev. That down little spiral moments ago. And oh my god, it is unbelievable that a man his size can be so agile as Rusev with a pull slide to the back of the skull. Later on tonight as well, we're going to see Cruiserweight action. We'll find out who those competitors will be. And then the main event, two unknown stars that we, well, we, we don't know who will be on the Black and Gold brand as Keith Lee and Rusev on the outside and Rusev on the knee. The one thing, the one thing that Rusev's got to watch out for is Lee able to take him down with a bell to belly. Rusev needs to watch out for uh, Keith, Keith Lee's uh, finishing maneuvers. The spear bomb, which is a pop-up sit-out power bomb. And also a fireman's carry power slam. Pretty much a fireman's carry version of a jackhammer. Kind of fly by the referee as Lee's on the outside. Lee, they're going to get back inside. Same thing did Rusev. And Rusev got it now from behind back. Shoot. No, Lee turned it around. Cross body. Cross body there by Lee. And oh, Lee. Two double head chops. And then a moves off the boot. Lee showing why that the reason why he is limitless, he can do anything inside that ring. As a oh wait, Dower Spiral! Keith Lee can do moves that you would see a cruiserweight do. Which is incredible. They got him up here, precarious hold, plus of gut hurts. Rufsev is in a position, does not want to be a kick to the midsection. Needing to the kip up! Into the midsection. Downstairs. Uh-oh. Power bomb. Oh! Wicked power bomb by Lee. Rusev's in trouble. Things are not looking good for the Bulgarian brute. Look at Lee. Sit out. Power bomb. Good grief. Keith Lee able to deadlift Rusev into a power bomb. Keith Lee just basking in his own glory, like the crowd did moments ago. Rusev is overwhelmed. He doesn't believe. He can't believe what's going on here. Ira Swip under. Oh, very, oh my God! He pulls up the pounce. That shoulder tackle. Good grief! That would make football players jealous. And a kick at a one. Good God Almighty! Eat your heart out, Aaron Rodgers. Good God. Eat your heart out. Tom Brady. And the crowd here in full sound. Seems to be behind Rusev Dang. Rusev on the outside trying to 
think about what he needs to do. Look at Lee. Not letting Rusev even get a chance to breathe. Landing gut first. Three. The fact that Lee ran through a clothesline like it was nothing. And oh God. Able to send him face first into the pole. Look at this. Franken Steiner. Where would a Franken Steiner? Sending Rusev face first into the post. Six. And a six by the ref. Seven. Got him in the ring. Does Lee. Keith Lee's been impressive. Rusev has barely been able to get out of the blocks as of late. And I got him up. Oh, wait. Oh. Furman's carry. Power slam. The Supernova. What are they doing? Leg hook. Lee with the win! Oh my god! Keith Lee! Jeez, man! If I'm the NXT roster, I'm watching out for this man! He is indeed limitless! Wow! Keith Lee. Man. Oh. Backstage. As oh, there's Ric Flair. But who is he talking to? Not used on Raw. Who did he get from Monday Night Raw? Ric Flair saying you can do whatever you want, but who is he talking to? Well, I guess we'll find out later on tonight, maybe, or in the next couple of weeks, but as they're back here in full cell. Getting ready for a one-on-one -on -one matchup here tonight. As you got Brooklyn Vaughn Braun making her in-ring debut. An MMA star. Been inside the octagon in the past, but now they're gonna take on the genius of the sky. Here comes Io Shirai. Make it away from from Japan. Made her debut in pro wrestling all the way back in 2007. Wrestled in various of uh, wrestling promotions, and now tonight she finds her way over here in WWE, here in NXT. I mean, she used to, she made a debut on SmackDown at one point. Many, many moons ago, she made a debut, but never, never was able to find a footing on the blue brand as Brooklyn Von Braun right off the, right off the bat, able to take down uh, Io Shirai there. As uh, Von Braun are going to work on the head and neck area of Io Shirai. As Io not looking good so far. Looking for uh, Brooklyn Von Braun in control so far. Get to the best extra to go for it. DDT but an arm drag counter. As Io Shirai on the outside are going to rethink her strategy here. Not looking good against uh, an MMA star like Brooklyn. Able to go back in the ring and oh, big right. Able to take her down. Got the arm here. As twist and turn the arm. Did EO and out big kick to the face. Face are not looking good for Von Braun now. Got to go for a kick, didn't connect. Able to block it in Brooklyn and off the ropes. And oh, trying to go for a move. Oh, big splash. 
able to block. I believe she'll try to go for a head scissors. Took her down and caught with a splash. And, oh, Bro Brooklyn Von Braun trying to go for something. Did not connect. The black handle. Back and forth between both women in the early going. Got, got the arm form in the face by Vaughn. And now, the clothesline with a kip up from the G's of the sky now. Double leg take down. Able to get her. Attacks the left knee. Here's Sarai. And now they're going to build momentum in this match. They're going to keep the ball rolling into her favor. Got the arm here. And twist the turn. And just twerk the arm. Applying pressure, if you will. Got her up here. And it's little spike Von Braun in the corner. And just took her down. Now look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Double knees to the midsection. Gotta go for a kick. Did not connect. Overhead arm drag. Nice arm drag from Von Braun. And now. Brooklyn trying to go for a maneuver. But. Sarai able to counter. Iris Swift into the corner. Again, Riffler did say that the women's division here in NXT will take time to build. Double knees from EO. Able to drag her out of the corner. Able to drag her out of the corner. Would that be enough? Two count? No, not enough. Not enough to put her away. But what is the what does Io Shirai gotta do? Where, where is she going? She going up top. And oh, thought about but changed her mind. And now oh, double that take down. Uh oh, oh wait a minute! We're gonna turn her over. Ankle lock. And she got it in deep. Locked it in with the ankle lock. Shirai's in trouble. Brooke and Von Braun got it locked in. Kind of shades of Shamrock, but no. Able to. Find the way out to Chirai. I was going to say, she got it locked in deep like a Ken Shamrock would lock in an ankle lock. Big climbing blow to the spine. And oh, double shots. And oh, spear. Wicked spear by Von Braun. After taking out Io Shirai, Brooklyn now looking to... Go to work on EO. Need to the mid section. Got her here, got her up. Oh, Falcon Arrow. Is that enough? Has the damage been done? Form in the face out of disrespect. Falcon Arrow. No, slow up the two. So close, but no cigar for Von Braun getting the victory. Crowd here in full sun. on their feet, spinning back fast. Spinning back fish and now Von Braun are gonna pound away and do some work on the Eel Shirai. I think the damage will have been, been done. Eel might be out from the back fist. Got her. The back fist and then pounding her face in for good measure. Von Braun stands tall in shocking fashion. The crowd obviously not digging it. They're not liking Brooklyn Von Braun tonight. Where Brooklyn proved that it's not a popularity contest, it's about getting wins and losses. And tonight she collects a big dub in her win column. Von Braun successful in their debut. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is time for some cruiserweight action as Tony Inks will go one on one with the former two time WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Cedric Alexander. It's Nice, it's Alexander, it's live next on NXT. Back live here in Full Sail. As you got Tony Nese, who has eight reasons why he's better than you. Just look at those ads. Tony Nese, we're gonna show why he's better than Cedric Alexander here tonight in Full Sail. Again, Ric Flair was able to get talent from Raw and SmackDown to jump ship over to NXT. He probably got the talent that a lot of people don't really see on Raw and SmackDown because, again, too much roster space. I mean, 
I mean, too much uh, superstars on one show could be uh, a factor. It could be a reason why guys like Cedric Alexander and Tony Nese, even though they're in the Cruiserweight division, might be the reason why they're not getting TV time. Remember, Monday Night Raw and SmackDown both run under an hour, so it's very tough for guys like that to get time. Especially to uh, be able to do what they love to do, wrestle inside that ring. Now with NXT back, maybe they'll have a better opportunity of showcasing the world what, what they can do inside the squirt circle. You got Cedric Alexander, Tony Nese, Bellas Rung, and here we go. One-on-one -on -one action here tonight as, oh wait, oh. Cyrus so Alex with there from Nice as oof, shot to the midsection. Again, I want to know as Alexander with a clothesline, who the hell was Rick Flair was talking to backstage? He said he signed them from Raw, said that he was not being used, he was not being featured on television. This gets clothesline from Alexander. We recently saw Alexander take a loss to uh, Matt Riddle on Monday Night Raw two weeks ago. I mean, Riddle was able to keep his spot for Team Raw Survivor Series at the time. And now Alexander, they're going to rebound and they're going to regroup his career. Try to go for a super kick. able to block it to Nice. Oh, knee lift. Knee lift on the Tony Nice. Jumping flatliner. Able to take him down. As who? Who the hell? Alexander's in control. What the, that's Norm Dar's music. What the? No one Dar. The Supernova 11. His music is playing, but nowhere to be found. Maybe, maybe the guy who cues the music messed up there. I don't know what's going on. Or maybe Norm Dar did that himself. I don't know, but bad timing. As uh, Alexander, Iris up the ropes, and they're gonna hand, they're gonna do a handstand real quick, and a head scissors. But then nip up to Buddha Swab to the face. And now, oh wait, nice freaking Steiner, who we saw Keith Lee do that earlier tonight. Good grief. Right, four, uh, got him here now, sorry, Russian leg sweep. Tony Nese, a man who's barely been featured on Monday Night Raw as well. They're going to take up this opportunity here tonight. Last time we saw Tony Nese on Raw, I believe he had a match with uh, Mustafa Ali almost a year ago. On the old school edition of Raw. So it's been a while since we've seen Tony Nese. Which again, could be a factor of too much time being taken up by other superstars. As Alexander, Iris Swift, rebound by Nice. Up and over does Alexander. Spit kick! Alexander showing why he's a former two time champion. Alexander with a kick to the midsection. A kick to the upper midsection near the chest area of Tony Nice. Things are not looking good for Mr. Nice here on NXT. Tonight's all about the introduction. It's all about reintroducing the fans of what NXT is all about. Again, it's all about pro wrestling. As leg drop there from Nice. A big southpaw. Form in the face. Got him here. What does Nice have in mind? Four now sent it to. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to kill him with a trick kick. A pump handle. Excuse me. A pump handle. Turning over to a power slam, maybe. And Alexander's able to land on the street and counter. And Alexander got him onto the middle rope. Just driving his throw onto the middle rope there did Alexander. And I got him flowing out saying, no, 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 no. Nice blocked him with a, with a jawbreaker. And now look at Nice again with another Frankensteiner. And a kick up from Alexander. Back and forth action here at NXT. Takedown. And I look at Alexander. Got him. Got the arm hooked. Got the leg hooked. Tequila Sunrise. And now Nice able to counter. Able to escape the hold and fight through. Iris right, up into the corner. And now. Oh, wicked knife edge. Chop. 
shades of the general manager himself, Ric Flair. Aerosmith got him in the corner. Alexander, oh, chop, punch, chop, punch, back and forth by Alexander. They got an upgrade from what Nice did moments ago. The chops by adding punches as well. Got him up. Oh, discus Falcon Arrow there from Alexander. A spinning Falcon Arrow. And I got the arm. Oh, it'll roll through. Drop to a hole from Nice. And a cool fly coming blow takes out Alexander. Good grief. Again, just showing what NXT is all about. In-ring action. Pro wrestling. Raw well, SmackDown may be the glitz and the glamour, but NXT is what the fans have been clamoring for for years. All they want is great wrestling, great in-ring action. Up he goes! 450 splash by Nice! Will that do it? Will it be enough to get a victory? Shoulder up and two from Alexander! And Alexander had the power out out of that 450. That pinning combination. He had the power out in order to stay alive in this match. They got Alexander taunting. Saying that he's still in this match. But needs to make him regret taunting there moments ago. Got him in the corner, trying to go for a kick. Blocked it, got him here. Exploder into the corner. That's Tony Nese trying to get up to his feet. Alexander just lying and waiting. Big shot to the face, kick to the midsection. And look at this. Ooh. Elevated drop kick in the corner. Trying to go for a big right. Maybe try to set him up for the Lumbar check. Uh, Mr. The Cool Sign Wally got him up. Brain Buster! Brain Buster! Will that be enough? Hooks the outside leg. Let him impress. Alexander with a win. Holy. Hard hitting action between Nice and Alexander. Back in fourth contest on NXT. What a match. That's what NXT is all about. That was a demonstration of what Ric Flair stated earlier tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, two superstars that Flair was able to get from Raw and SmackDown will compete here on NXT, I believe for the first time ever. Who will it be? We'll find out live next. You're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss any videos from this channel. Oh, what the? That's Harper! That's Luke Harper! Luke Harper! From SmackDown! Ric Flair was able to sign Luke Harper over to the Black and Gold brand! The former World Heavyweight Champion in Luke Harper is here on NXT. Like I mentioned before, Ric Flair was able to get two stars from Raw and SmackDown and bring them over. And to my belief, I honestly believe this, Ric Flair has still have a lot more talent to unleash here on NXT in the next couple of weeks. So we don't know who's going to jump ship from Raw, to Smack Raw and SmackDown to NXT. We still have a lot more to come. That's just my assumption here. But we're going to end the show though. We got Harper in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action. Who is he facing? What? It's been months. Ric Flair has gotten Daniel Bryan! Daniel Bryan is, is back, but what am I sensing a different aura of Daniel Bryan? Except the Daniel Bryan that, that we're all used to seeing. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this, but 
it's not the old Daniel Bryan that we last saw, but I mean the Daniel Bryan we last saw, you know, doing the yes chance and having the crowd on their side. The crowd is just against Bryan right now. Daniel Bryan obviously getting a reaction, but not a reaction I thought you would ever you would ever get. Well, either way, Daniel Bryan is back in, 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 in inside the ring, but it, 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 it's been a while since we've seen T-Bryan. But regardless, Ric Flair was able to sign the former Universal Champion, and Daniel Bryan, and he's taking on Harper. Here we go, match begins. Flying four by Bryan. I don't know, the crowd just instantly turned over Daniel Bryan. I mean, that's Harper! With a crossbody. As Luke Harper, we're gonna take it towards Brian here. Both men, former WWE World Heavyweight Champions. As oh, big scoop slam. Who the hell? What the? Eric Rowan? Oh, he's also from SmackDown. Eric Rowan. Wait a minute! No! From behind! Rowan! Attacking Harper! What the hell? I thought that was your partner! Your friend! Rowan! Wait, run for cover! And Harper kicked out! What the hell did I just saw? The Bludgeon Brothers just imploded here! I want to get bright! Oh, great suplex! Hooked the arms and then plot out on the back of his neck. Wicked forearm shot. Uppercut. Back and forth slugs between Harper and, and Daniel Bryan. And now Bryan. Oh, lots of the top rope. I don't know what I just witnessed, but in the end, match continues. Referee didn't see it. So the match goes on. Harper with that power bomb. Trying to go for another five. Form with a close onto the back by Harper that time. This big elbow to the back of the skull. Or to the skull rather. Oh! Set to the outside. What a night it has been on NXT. Here in full sound. It's Daniel Bryan up to his feet. Harper looking to meet him on the outside. Big kick in the face. Last time we saw Harper was on SmackDown taking a win over EC3. You haven't seen him since. And now Harper's on NXT, but I don't believe what we just saw. I mean, Harper and Rowan were like two monsters on SmackDown. The Bludgeon Brothers, who can ever forget? And, and now that they're on NXT, I guess, with Rowan involved, Rowan Funos and slammed the hell out of Harper. Almost cost Harper the match, I might add. Almost having Daniel Bryan getting a victory. And now Bryan, they're gonna fight back. Bryan with a, a maneuver, able to take it down on his shoulder. But I don't know if I'm, oh, there we go. I don't know if he was mocking the fans with the yes champ, but I don't know, the crowd ate it up though. As Daniel Bryan off the ropes, drop kick. Different feet, a different vibe I'm getting from Daniel Bryan though. It's not the same guy I saw a couple months ago. It's like he's changed somehow. And I'm trying to identify it. I mean he came out, he didn't do the S chant, he got new graphics, uh everything just felt new. Oh wait, but this, this is not new, this is a, a old maneuver that got him wins at the wins in the past. The LaBell lock locked in. Harper in trouble, trying to crawl, trying to find the way out. And obviously, uh, uh, Brian couldn't, him, couldn't make him tap. They're gonna get a pinfall victory to count. Not enough to put him away. That's Daniel Bryan. What is he gonna do here? Look at Brian, look at Brian, look at Brian! Leg lock, that knee bar. 
throw to Nebar. Harper's tapping. I believe that was a tap. I don't know. Cover. Or maybe he tapped that after. He got oh, the kick at a toe. I think what will happen is that I think Brian lose grip and he let go. Harper tapped anyway. But he didn't give up the match. I don't know what happened there. Referee didn't call for the bell. So I guess the match continues. But obviously Harper was in serious pain. The move was, the second the move was locked in. Nice take down there from Harper. Get to the mid section. Sucked in the spine. As Brian with a hip up. What a wild episode it has been. In the third season, we see the premiere of NXT with a truck kick again from Brian. And now Brian looking at this dragon screw. It looks like Daniel Bryan's all about submissions here. Nice clothesline! Almost decapitated Brian! That's Harper. Shot off the shot. Harper. Ooh, trying to go for that clothesline. Decapitation with the connect. There's your Brian took that Harper. If Harper connected with that decapitation, that discus clothesline that could have took Brian's head off, then maybe Harper would have got the win. But luckily, Brian was so crafty. Was well, had that move well scouted. Take down. And again, that knee bar. That knee bar's locked in. Harper. Can he survive this time? No, he doesn't. Harper taps out. Referee calls on the foul that time. Daniel Bryan with a win. But again, what the hell did we witness early in the match with Rowan full nosing? Harper straight to hell inside the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, good night to the season premiere of NXT. See you next week for more.